what's happening crypto fam happy happy tuesday good morning and welcome back to love for crypto i'm scott it's a pleasure to have you in i appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content so thank you apologies for no video in like a flaming week um been chilling been chilling summer holidays um also been debating going to afternoon videos so the morning ones may stop might start doing afternoon videos instead. Try to find time to still do videos while there's not much happening. What is happening is Jed McCaleb's wallet's empty. Oh yeah, finally, after nine years, his wallet's empty. And people have begun debating not only XRP value, but XRP transaction fee, dictating the value, um, or dictated by the value, should we say, however many drops it is to complete a transaction, depending on the value of one XRP, dictates the value of how many of them 10 drops are. The 10 drops can be changed down to one drop in the end. The only thing is, don't you can't really split a drop. So, if it goes to 100,000 and beyond per XRP, transactions will start to become... A dollar and more for each one which then send in 20 cents for a dollar is going to be dog shit so there's a limit on the xrpl for it to to work efficiently and and, and and as practically as everyone wants it to to be able to send pennies over a network it can't cost dollars so anyway back to jed mccaleb he's emptied his xrp wallet after nearly a nine year sell-off XRP scan shows a former Ripple founder's taco stand wallet has only $16 worth of XRP left in it at the time of writing. It has also issued a closed wallet transaction. Um, an, an account delete transaction, meaning the account will no longer exist on XRPL, or XRP's ledger. The transaction marks the end of a 9 billion XRP sell-off initiated by Michaeli after leaving Ripple Labs to co-found rival Stellar. More initiated by the smart contract that they agreed in, in, you know, they, there's more to Jed just going, oh, I'm going to sell these over this amount of time. No, he was fucking told to, was a contracted to sell them at certain intervals. Everyone saying he was dumping. He's the knobhead. Whatever. He's the knobhead. <laughs> there's people buzzing now saying, oh, you can have more XRP than Jed McCaleb. Oh, no, you can have more XRP than that one fucking wallet. Are you that much? Are you, 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 you think that's the only wallet he's got? Has he only got one Stella wallet as well? You absolute cretin. <laughs> he's, he's like, he, you've got to expect to have more than one wallet. Granted, um, it would appear he's got none left, but pfft. it has sparked a lot of chat in the future value of XRP. A lot of people would have expected a little run. After that, nah, but people have been debating transaction costs, even to the point where David Schwartz has piped up, saying even if the price reaches 10k per XRP, transaction costs will remain cheap. Now, I'm putting an actual XRP, <clears throat> XRP.org, let me get this up, just so you know, XRP.org. Transaction costs, currently 10 drops. That link to that is in the description. It's currently 10 drops, but it can be changed. Yeah, it can be changed. You get consensus within the network to change uh, the payment, uh, the fee structure, it will change. So bringing it down from 10 drops to one drop as and when needed to keep the cost low, no brainer. As said before, once you're down to one drop, 100,000 drops per XRP, $100,000 per XRP, that's $1 per drop, sending less than a dollar. Even just sending a dollar, then it's going to cost you $2. Like, send $10 to cost a dollar. Would they then pack it value? Would, they, would everyone's microtransactions go into a packet until it was feasible to send them all at once for $1? Um... David Swartz, he come out, guns blazing. After someone did some terrible fucking maths, ignoring a load of shit. 
And he put, I think that's missing. Uh, what's missing in that analysis is the more you, is the more useful the token is for payments, the more people who need to make payment or might want to get paid to facilitate other people's payments will want to hold it. He also dives into um, the minimum transaction fee. The current minimum transaction fee is 10 drops. A drop is a millionth of an XRP. A millionth is one million. I've been saying there's 100,000 of them. Apologies. Someone's not writing enough decimal places when you're showing how many dot drops are an XRP. So fuck you people doing that. <laughs> a millionth. So there's... Anyway, even with no change in fees, if XRP somehow hit $10,000, the minimum transaction fee would be 10 cents. The minimum fee could be voted down to one drop. It's extremely interesting. So on the same day this debate was going down, Anchal Mahotra, head of research at Ripple X, published a blog post in where she said Ripple X would like the developer community to, to provide feedback on its proposal for automated market maker functionality on the XRP ledger. She started by noting that XRPL, which is one of the world's first established decentralized exchanges, enables anyone on the ledger to directly and efficiently buy, sell, or trade any tokenized asset without the need for central intermediary. She then went on to add the XRPL DEX, a first mover advantage in 2012 as a peer-to-peer -peer exchange, is used. <laughs> it uses a central limit order book, a CLOB model that matches bids and offers based on price and time priority. Although this is a valuable exchange mechanism in its own right, the Ripple X team believes that there is an opportunity to expand upon this feature and set to unlock greater functionality and utility via automated market makers, AMMs. There's a lot more to read in that. If you want to give it a give it a read, the link's in the description. Want to read about fees on the XRPL? That link is also in the description. It's it's getting to the point where I really do feel like we're about to see. Some real moves in the technology and the regulation, um, the progression. Maybe not the price and the value and might not get to where people want it as fast as they want it there. It might never get to where you want it. Look, like, people, oh, the, the people, uh, Bitcoin, bill, uh, blah, 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 blah. Bitcoin worth a million before 2030. Ethereum worth over 100k before 2030. XRP worth over a thousand dollars each by 2030. These are numbers some people are throwing out there. And while the more than possible, people don't tend to think about the probability. It, it's it's. <laughs> I mean, it's possible a black hole comes through the fucking solar system in the next several years and wipes every motherfucker out. But what's the probability of it happening? That's that. Just, just because it's possible. It's possible, yeah. But it's not necessarily probable. What is probable is maturity and adoption of the technology was improving our lives. People need to get out of mindset as well. I'm not going to put a grand in this and get fucking rich. Turn it in. Turn it fucking in. Yeah. Just keep investing in yourself, the internet of value, your hobbies and your happiness. Fuck the prices, fuck the values, percentage gains, all that fucking matters. And give a shit what the fucking price is. Your percentage gains, your dividends, your rewards. It's all people really should be care about. You want, want that passive income? Feet up on the beach. Fuck off there now, mate. Fuck off to the beach now. Don't need millions for your feet up on the beach. Go fuck off to the beach. Make sure you take a fishing rod. Or shut the fuck <laughs> Yeah. I'm going on ranting now. Anyway. Enjoy. 
the summer we're getting, guys, especially in the UK, we are not usually blessed with this kind of summer. It is um, pretty epic, pretty epic to say. I mean, it's shit compared to most of the world. Let's have it right. Most of the world's summer's fucking shit's on ours and shit's on the one we're having at the moment. But we're not used to one so consistent. So, yeah. Loving it at the moment. Let me know. What you think about Jed McCaleb's empty wallet? What you think about the transactions? Is that it now? Does all the, does all the, ah, well, he's just done, does all that moaning shit stop now? Because he can't dump anymore, can he? Or are they just going to, going to bring out another name now? Oh, well, what if Brad Garland now starts dumping his? What if Chris Larson starts dumping his? What if David Schwartz starts dumping whatever he's got? Fuck off. Just worry about yourself and your own percentage gains. Let me know what you think in the comments because it's really fucking interesting, especially about the drops and the, and the transaction fee. Like, do, does it limit XRP in the future, or if they just never expected XRP to really go over ten thousand dollars? I said ages ago it is designed to work at ten thousand dollars for me. It just makes perfect fucking sense. We'll have to see what happens in the future. So. Wishing health and happiness to you and your, excuse me, you know the script, you know the script, live long and old the lot, never let it go, get it staked, get it baked, look after the pot, till the pot looks after you, alright, we love crypto, love XRP, and we love you, so take care, and I'll see you on the next one, whenever that'll be, peace.